There are a lot of different electrical components, and in an intro physics class, you only have time to learn a few of them. The resistor, the capacitor, sometimes the inductor, and a few of the others will get mentioned. I want to give you a quick run through of some of the others. So, resistor is this symbol. It resists current, V equals IR. Capacitor stores charge. An inductor is a single coil. The voltage across it is the inductance times the rate of change of current. A transformer is two inductors combined together. I1, V1 equals I2, V2. Power in equals power out. And it lets you turn volts into amps or vice versa. A diode is a one-way street for current. This symbol has a triangle and a vertical line. The triangle's the positive side, what we call the anode, and the vertical line's the negative. Current, if you try to run current this way, it goes, but if you try to run it that way, it stops short. A fuse is a simple device. Essentially, it's a switch that will open on its own if the current gets too high. So it's a protective device. You blow a fuse if you overload a circuit. Your basement used to have a lot of fuses rather than circuit breakers. A ground is what it actually sounds like, a wire that is physically touching the ground. Essentially, the earth is like an infinitely big capacitor, so it's an endless reservoir for electrons. When you see that symbol, they're saying this spot we are declaring to be zero volts. So it's like setting the zero of height for an MGH problem. The transistor, single most important device, all your computer chips are made out of millions of them. The transistor has an emitter, a collector, and a base. It's a switch that can be controlled by another switch. This will either conduct or not depending on what, what the voltage is here. So that means you can chain them together and have switches turn on switches, turn on switches, and you enough of that and you get a computer. 